Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. This is Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about finding comfort in rejection. Jesus said, a prophet is rejected in his own hometown. I never used to give that much thought until I experienced that in my own life. You see, it's sad when the people you love and care for begin rejecting you and your message. But it happens all the time. It makes you sad on the one hand, but on the other, you're thankful for the ones who accept you and follow you no matter where you go. The Apostle Paul knew both sides of the coin. In fact, here's what Paul said about this in Colossians chapter 4, beginning in verse 10. Aristarchus, who is in prison with me, sends you his greetings, and so does Mark, Barnabas' cousin. As you were instructed before, make Mark welcome if he comes your way. Jesus, the one we call Justice, also sends his greetings. These are the only Jewish believers among my co-workers. They are working with me here for the kingdom of God. And what a comfort they have been. Well, Paul is wrapping up his letter to the Colossian church. Now, he's covered a lot of ground. In case you forgot, he was writing this letter to combat some false teaching about Christ. False teachers were distorting the identity and the nature of Christ. They were distorting the gospel. They were distorting its power. So Paul has been setting the record straight. He's talked both theology and practice. And now he is closing up the letter by mentioning some of his closest companions. He mentions Aristarchus, who's in prison with him. Aristarchus was a Jewish believer. He, like Paul, was a fellow Jew. You see, Paul knew rejection from the people he led and he loved. They rejected his new calling, and they rejected his Savior, Jesus Christ. It's so discouraging to know that the people we're closest to can and may reject our faith and our Savior. But it didn't deter Paul or his friend. Aristarchus was also a fellow prisoner. Now, here's what's interesting. He wasn't a convicted prisoner. He was a voluntary prisoner with Paul. He is what we call a true friend through thick and thin. Well, this was the opposite of Mark that Paul mentions here. Mark was by Paul's side with Barnabas. That is until times got tough. Mark would exit stage left to Jerusalem. But eventually, Mark changed his mind, and he would return to his friend Paul. Now, to think that God won't use us after our failures is a lie. This Mark who ditched Paul, was the same Mark who would write one of the Gospels. Imagine, what will God do with you? Last, Paul mentions Justice, who we know very little about, except that he was one of the few Jews who recognized Jesus as the Messiah. So Paul and his friends were rejected by their people, but embraced and comforted by Christ and his family. So here's my challenge for you. Be a comfort and an encouragement to someone around you. Jesus said we would be rejected because he was rejected first. Jesus said, do you think I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I have come to divide people against each other. That's a hard reality of Christianity. So let's encourage and comfort each other. Many of you, many of you here have felt this rejection by your own people. Well, you're not alone. You are loved by us here. So please, encourage someone who is feeling alone and rejected. Knowing that people are there that care is exactly what we need to win the day.